What's up guys? It's James here and today I am giving you another PSVR to PC tutorial and today I've got a great one for you. Uh, this is for motion controlled games specifically with the Oculus Rift games that will not work without your sensor installed. So stay tuned, you don't want to miss this one. Alright, I want to start by saying that this is not positional tracking. So that is not yet available. It's getting there. It's not there yet. But this is specifically for games that require motion tracking via the sensor that would come with your Vive or with your Rift. And um, I got a couple subscribers who give me great suggestions. Games that they feel I should try to kind of figure out and get working with the PSVR. And one game that kept coming up a game that consistently came up was Kronos. Now this game seemed to be right up my alley. It was an RPG, it had a pretty long gameplay, um, it seemed challenging, it was a lot like Dark Souls, another game I really like. So I said, let's do it. So I had my Trinus running, I had my Revive running, um, I bought the game, it was like 35 bucks, and when I opened it up, super excited, I got this. This message comes up saying, check that your headset and sensor are connected. I knew the headset was working. I knew nothing about the sensor being connected. So I thought to myself, "This I'm screwed. I can't play the game. It's not going to work. But I was determined to get it working, and I did manage to get it working. I'm going to share that with you guys. Now, this little trick is going to work with other games, too. It's going to work with games like Edge of Nowhere. Um, just a whole bunch of games that require the sensor to be installed. Um, I want to say this before we start, and I know I've said it before. This game is an amazing experience. It really is. The graphics, the story... The length of the game, the uh, RPG elements, the third person, and then sometimes you go into sync. It's just a great game. To be totally honest, I feel like it's a reason enough to buy the PSVR so you can play PC games. It's that good. It definitely ranks up there as probably the best that I've played on PC, but maybe even the best that I've played on the PS4 games as well. Okay, so that's saying a lot. Alright, so you can see that I've got my Trinus loaded up, and if you haven't looked at any of my other videos, I recommend watching them so that you know how to get playing these games, excuse me, with us as well. I've got my gamepad hooked up, it's a wired Xbox 360, so that I can play this game, and we're good to go. Now there's a couple things here, and the order in which I do them is incredibly important. Incredibly important, so make sure you follow this step by step. First of all, I turned on my headset, loaded Trinus, calibration happened, it's going. Next we're gonna run Steam, but hang on a second. There's a couple things now that I know that I didn't know before about running these apps. Always run them in administrator mode. Okay, run as administrator. Yes. Here it goes, Steam will update and Steam will load. Administrator, it's a heck of a lot less errors. It runs a lot better. Certain things won't work unless it's in Administrator. Always run Administrator. Next, once that loads up, it looks like it's almost done here. Just put uh, Trinus off to the side here. Oh, here we go. Oh look, how I got my memory back. <laughs> Some stupid spam email. All right, um, so, okay, Steam is loaded up. I'm going to just put it down. Steam VR, same thing. Run as administrator. I actually went to the folder, set it so that the EXE, the executable, runs as an administrator. You know it's running as administrator because of this message that comes up. Yes, we're going to launch it. Our compositor will come up, hopefully. There it is. 
shift tab I like to do this all the time don't ask me why using shift windows left it is now in my headset you'll notice that the oculus store has loaded up because I'm running revive as well and simply search for Kronos here it is I'm just showing you what it looks like I've already got it but here's the game Kronos gamepad comfortable blah blah blah, blah. it's it's a great amazing game amazing game okay but here's a little thing that I do that will make life with revive work even better I'm gonna go down into my taskbar I'm gonna actually quit revive I'm gonna right click it quit it then I'm going to go to my PC I'm gonna find revive inside my program files I'm going to look for the file that says Revive Overlay and once again I'm going to right click it and run it as administrator. If you miss this step, chances are it's not going to work. Yes, we're going to run it. This tells you it is working. It says it's been successfully installed. And you would think now we could go and run Kronos. No, we cannot. You will notice in our Steam VR it is detecting the headset. We don't need motion controlled controllers because this will use a gamepad, but you'll notice the two sensor blocks are grayed out. There's the problem, and there's why Kronos won't work. So here's how I fixed it. I went into my, well, if you saw my former video on how to get every controller working, watch it if you haven't. I went into my PS Move services. Okay, I had to really think to myself, what is PS Move Service really doing? It's emulating a sensor, and then it's emulating Move Controllers. So all I did is run my PS Move Service as administrator, and it runs, will allow it to have access, and look what happens down here. I now have my headset and my sensor showing as active. Now why is that important? Well remember that error message? Let's open that up again. I needed my headset and my sensor connected. You can now see that both are green, good to go. And now watch what happens. If I go into, I'm just going to put this down for a second. If I go into my revive, which is down on my taskbar, and I right click it, and I like to do it this way, everybody's different, but I go to inject. I'm going to find my Oculus folder. It's in program files, Oculus. I'm going to go to software, software again, and I'm going to find the Kronos folder. Now I'm going to click the EXE and I'm going to hit open. By the way, because I'm going to go into my headset in a second, the great thing about Oculus games is you just have to hit the back button on the Xbox controller and it centers your view. Fantastic feature. I wish everything had that. But I'm going to hit open. You're going to get a nice mirror here. I might disappear in a second, but you're going to get a nice mirror of what I see in the headset. Oh no, I'm still there. And you're going to see the Oculus symbol. Oh, I disappeared. You're going to see the Oculus symbol come up. There it is, Oculus Studios. And there we go. Now, I know you can't see me right now, but I'm going to show you a little bit of the gameplay. Now, I'm moving my headset right now. It's working beautifully. I'm going to put my headset on. I've got my controller in my hand. And I know that you guys are just going to see a 2D version of what I see. But let me tell you, that this game is phenomenal. There I am, age 51, level 62. I beat the game already and uh, enjoyed every minute of it. I'm going to definitely play this game again just because of the wow factor with how amazing this game is. But I just want to show you it's working. All right, so let's load up where I am. And again, I know you can't see me, but I've got my controller in my hands and my headset on my head. All right, I'm just kind of looking around right now. I don't know if that shows or not, but... 
Like I said, this game alone is worth getting the PSVR to play on your PC. Lucky's Tale as well, fantastic game, totally free. Another great reason. So here we go. You can see I'm kind of just looking at my guy as he moves around. I'm going to go through that doorway there. I'm just going to run over there. And again, I don't know how well this shows with my screen recording, but as I look around, the thing that's really neat about this game is that I'm a spectator in VR. I'm, I'm mainly third person controlling my guy through these environments as these things try to kill me. Okay, so here we go. Here's one of those things I'm talking about. Let me show you a little bit of the battle sort of sequence here. Oh yeah, here we go. The, the action is incredible. The game is super fun. If, you're a, if you like Dark Souls type games or Bloodborne, then you are absolutely going to love this game, let me tell you. It has all the great elements of an RPG, and of course it's in VR, which makes it so much better. So it's got a leveling system, it's got, you know, weapons and items and uh, powers and, you know, basically what you'd expect from an RPG. Alright, so I'm going to just quit, and I'm going to come back to talking to you guys, so just hang on one second. Here we go. Let's get out of here. All right, let me just wait until that closes off. Okay, so as you can see, that works incredible. The experience is unbelievable. And I know I, I can't do it justice here to show you on a flat, dis flat display, but the depth, the 3D, the tracking is just amazing. The game is super fun. I strongly recommend you try Kronos. Uh, Edge to Nowhere is my next kind of game to, to show off and to master as well. There's not, there's tons of games to play here and, you know, no shortage, what, what I meant to say. There's no shortage of games between PSVR library, Vive library, and now Rift's library. It's an easy choice. Get a PSVR, join the VR community, support the VR community so that games can be developed so that we can have lots of stuff to play in the future. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, make sure you subscribe and like if you like this video. Tons more to come. Till next time, thanks again.